Okay, guys, so let's look at Needle King today. Now, Needle King is not currently in the game. He will be in the game with the Crown Tundra DLC that is going to be launching on October 22nd. So we will have him pretty soon here. But the footage that you're going to see in the video, this is from Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. Just, again, because he's not in the game yet. All right, so we're going to start off looking at his stat spread here. And he's got a good middle ground for a lot of things and a decent attack. So defense, we're looking at 77. Special defense, 75. Well-rounded, not great, not terrible. Speed is 85, so he's kind of in the upper middle there. Attack is going to be his best stat, and this is going to be at 102. So he definitely has some physical attack that he's able to pull out. And then his special attack is 85, and we're going to get into it in a little bit, but he actually has a very large move pool in the special attack category. So we might be able to use this a little bit, especially because 85 is not terrible, still that high middle ground. And then HP 81, kind of right there in the middle again. And then he is the poison ground typing. So he's got a lot of weaknesses, a lot of resistances we're going to look at here. But poison is a great typing, especially with the overabundance and still high usage of fairy type Pokemon. So we're going to be able to really do a lot with this guy and have a lot of different types of builds, some offensive, some defensive, all different kinds of things. So when we look at his abilities, he's got three abilities, and that's going to be Poison Point, Rivalry, and his hidden ability is Sheer Force. Now, Poison Point has some support Pokemon benefit to it. Basically, when you take damage, there is a 30% chance that you will poison the Pokemon that's physically attacking. Now, now, it has to be a contact move, so it can't be something like Thunderbolt. It has to be something that actually makes contact, like a body slam. Rivalry is going to increase the damage that Needle King puts out by 25% if the Pokemon he's attacking is of the opposite gender. So if he's attacking a Needle Queen, he's going to do 25% more damage. However, he'll do 25% less damage if he attacks a Pokemon of the same gender. So if the Needle King attacked another Needle King. And then Sheer Force is actually going to increase the damage of any uh, attack that he uses by 30% that has a, a secondary effect on it. So like Poison Jab has the ability to poison. It's going to increase Poison Jab's damage by an additional 30%. And that is not including of his stab bonus that he's going to get as well. So he's going to do a ton of damage if he's got Sheer Force on. And again, if you're attacking the opposite gender with Rivalry, it's also going to do a ton more damage as well. Okay, so I went ahead and I put some examples down of what Sheer Force can really do for this Pokemon. So if you look at Poison Jab, base 80, you multiply it by the 30%, and it basically becomes a base 104 attack, and then you're going to get your stab on top. Same thing with Sludge Bomb. Base 90 multiplied by the 30 is 117. Now, Focus Blast, you're not going to get a stab on. And it's the fighting type move, and he's poison ground. But base 120 times the 30 is 156 power. So this really, really ups his damage. Just keep in mind, it has to be an attack that has a secondary effect. So like Sludge Bomb has the ability to poison, whereas Tackle does not. So Tackle would not be able to take... Uh, any kind of benefit from sheer force, but you can see here that this really increases his damage So moving away from the abilities, let's go ahead and take a look at his resistances and weaknesses and he does have quite a bit of resistances Electric he's gonna be immune to he's got that ground typing So this is a great pivot Pokemon if they've got something like a riot you out on the field and you don't want to take that electric damage You know Thunderbolt's coming you had a water Pokemon out you switch him out you eat the Thunderbolt does zero damage and you got a free switch. So that's really something that you can look at using here. It's a great pivot for those electric type Pokemon. And he's got other resistances too. Fighting, poison, rock, bug, and fairy. He's all 50% resistant to. It's all going to take half damage. So he's really good in some situations here, especially because we do see rock po uh, Pokemon. We do see poison Pokemon. And we do see a lot of fairy Pokemon. And fighting isn't uncommon either, and neither is bugs. So he's got a lot of typings here that he can really work against very very well okay so he does have a few weaknesses here ground water psychic and ice out of these four psychic is probably the one you'll come in contact with the least it's not completely gone but it is one of the least common in this list I would say ground and water are probably the two typings you're gonna come across the most here water being so prevalent with a lot of Pokemon able to set the rain right now 
and have a lot of water teams in the mix, so just be careful of that. And then a lot of good ground type Pokemon that are out there that are going to be able to do damage, um, like Rhyperior, for example. So just keep an eye on that. And then Lapras is always a big threat, always utilized, so just be careful of that as well. If you're finding this video helpful at all or you're liking it, please drop a like and subscribe. Also guys, feel free to come over and visit us at the Twitch channel anytime you'd like. We do a lot of battles, raids, and trades every day, mostly Pokemon content as well as on Pokemon Go. You'll find the links down below in the description. Other than that guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first set here. So this is going to be an, uh, an offensive set. This is going to focus specifically on the attack, the physical attack portion of the Needle King. We are going to put the EVs 252 into attack, 136 into defense, 108 into HP, and speed is going to be 12. So we're going to wall him out a little bit more, and uh, so he's got a little bit more bulk, so he'll be able to eat some physical attacks from something like a Snorlax a little better, just something that's out there that maybe you've got some squishier things that don't want to take some physical hits just keep in mind he is super weak to the water uh, especially without adding anything to the special defense so you don't want to leave him out fighting something like a kingdra or anything of that nature so just keep that in mind but we did give him a little bit of hp a little bit of defense and we did give him a tiny bit of speed just so he can outspeed some things in his class uh, that aren't getting any kind of speed treatment so he's a little faster there but that 252 to attack is where he's really gonna kind of come through the most for us here. Now with a move set, we are going to take advantage of sheer force and we are going to put poison jab on and that's going to raise that damage up again. Uh, we are going to use drill run. Now drill run is not going to be able to take advantage of the sheer force, but it'll still get the stab bonus here and this is a good single target attack for him. But keep in mind, you can also put earthquake on if you would like. Just keep in mind you want to have maybe a flyer or something that's not going to, you know, get eaten up by an earthquake damage on your team or something with protect. We have Throat Chop and or Iron Tail. Each of these can take advantage of the Sheer Force ability, so it's going to raise those up. To, you can kind of pick whichever one you want here. Same thing with Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, or Rock Slide. Whatever, whatever's going to fill the void in your team, uh, these are the attacks that I would recommend that you choose. Me personally, I like having Fire Punch so I can get some burns out if possible. Rock Slide is always a good possibility because you can sometimes get the double flinch, which can be a game changer. And Throat Chop's not bad. Iron Tail, I'm not a big fan of, uh, but you can use it if you want. We've already got the very weakness with Poison Jab here, so I don't need it from that perspective. And we're able to hurt Steel and other ground with ground. So I would probably go towards Fire Punch, Rock Slide, or Fire Punch, Throat Chop. Now, when we're looking at Ability Item in Nature, we've got Sheer Force, of course adamant so we're going to boost that attack even more and as far as the item there's a couple different things you can do here you can either go life orb choice band or expert belt so life orb you want to put that on if you don't have another life orb user this is the best item to put on him for this but if you do have another life orb consider a choice band because that's going to raise his damage up significantly and have him hit like a truck just keep in mind you're also going to get locked into one move but then there's always expert belt as well which is going to boost the uh, attack you do on critical or uh, super effective attacks so keep that in like the back of your mind also this is a great choice for you if you don't want to get locked in to the choice band one move and somebody's already using life orb so keep that in mind i uh, do use expert belt on almost every team life orb is always a must choice band is definitely something you can consider as well so this next set's similar to the last one i won't go into crazy uh, detail on it but special attack 252 instead of physical attack so we're going to kind of flip it here even though this is his weaker attribute we're going to go ahead and give it a go because he's got a great coverage and you might get some things off that people aren't really expecting so we're going to rock the sludge bomb and the earth power which are both going to take advantage of the sheer force focus blast in here as well ice beam flamethrower thunderbolt so he's got a lot of things here that you can add to your needle king to fill in some gaps in your coverage um, I definitely would recommend the Sludge Bomb Earth Power, Earth Power Base 90, Sludge Bomb Base 90. So these are two great ones for you. Focus Blast is cool, except it's got a very low accuracy. So just keep that in mind. I'm a big fan of Flamethrower, and I like the Thunderbolt option as well, because there is a lot of water, and this could catch something off guard, especially if you know you can kill it or it's already been weakened. So those are some options for you. We're basically doing the same exact ability item in nature, except the nature is going to change to modest, for the special attack instead of adamant but this could be something that could be really fun for you catch some teams off guard 
because oftentimes you're going to see Needle King as a physical attacker, so they might not be prepared for that special attack. It's not something completely unheard of, but it is a little bit more on the rare side for what I see. Okay, now this last set here, this is going to be mostly for fun. If you're playing around with your friends or something, you might want to use a competitive, sure, but in a master class, I don't think this is really going to go very far. This is, again, mostly just for fun. So the EVs, we're going to do special defense 56, defense 252, HP 188, and speed 12 again. So we're really making this more of a defensive set here, so a little bit more on the bulk side. And I'm going to go down to Ability Item Nature, so we're going to use Poison Point this time. That way, if something hits us, maybe we get a Poison off. Remember, it's a 30% chance. The Careful Nature, so we're going to be working on our Special Defense, but uh, getting rid of our Special Attack. Uh, you can use the Assault Vest, which is going to go ahead and raise your Special Defense by 50%. Just keep in mind, if you do use that, you won't be able to use anything like Taunt. It has to be a move that actually does damage. If not the Assault Vest, you can go with a Berry. If you're going to use Rest, you can use the Berry that wakes you up. Or you can go with a Healing Berry for Careful, which would be the Aguav Berry. And that's going to give you a good amount of HP back. Now, as far as moveset, Poison Jab, get the Stab Bonus, Drill Run, or Bulldoze. Again, Stab Bonus. And based off of what you're doing with the team and how much of a harassment you want to be, you could do Bulldoze, lower the speed down, especially if you're using Flyers. Uh, you've got Brick Break. Thief and Facade, all decent options here for you. Thief would be cool if you've already used your berry and you want to steal their life orb or whatever they have, then you can put that on and, you know, take away their Eviolite or whatever. Um, facade's nice if they do burn you, since you're on kind of a defensive set here, uh, the Facade is going to make it so you're still able to do a decent amount of damage and not be completely useless. If you're not using the Assault Vest, my three options here, maybe four if you use Rest, but the three that I would throw out there would be Quash, Taunt, and Amnesia. Amnesia, really only if you've got something to maybe keep him alive. Um, maybe you've got uh, Comfy out and he can heal him. Whatever it is, um, Quash is awesome because he's not super speedy. And if you've got something a little slow that's really, really hard hitting, maybe you've got a, a Rhyperior or something that's like that speed base. You use Quash and the Rhyperior can go first and decimate something. Taunt's always good. Stop your Tailwinds stop your trick rooms, and so on. So this again, this is more of a fun set, not something I'm really going to recommend if you're in high, high tier leagues, but this could be fun to use. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for hanging out. If you have any questions or comments or anything, put them down in the comments. Otherwise, you could uh, stop into the Twitch channel where we do tons of battles all the time, especially with the Tundra coming out soon. But thanks again, guys. Appreciate you all, and I hope to see you again next time. But until then, take care.